Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, Vacumatica 2022 R2 features, we're going to talk about a new feature in manufacturing called Engineering Workbench. Engineering Workbench gives you much greater visibility and the ability to change your bill of material around much easier because you have that visibility. So we're looking at a bill of material for an assembly reservoir inlet. You can see it here. And there's a couple of steps for it. We'll move this up a little bit. And you can see assembly is the one step. There's a few parts there. So we're using work center 10, work center 30. Final assembly requires some screws. And if we go back up, we can see the first item is this base unit. And this base unit itself needs to be manufactured in order to produce this reservoir inlet. Now, if we take a look at the bill of material for the base unit, you can see it here, it has three steps. It's got a cutting, a form, an inspection, and there's parts throughout those three different steps as well. But notice what I had to do is I had to go in, I had to look at this, I had to open this item up, find the bill of material for that, and I could potentially open this up on many different browsers and maybe box it in on my screen and I could see all of it together. But with the engineering workbench, it's much, much easier. So let's open that up and we bring up our bill of material ID. By the way, you could do that through the bill of material. If you go into here, your menu, you could see engineering workbench. And you can access it from here as well. But if we go back, you can see the item. This is our bill of material, bill of material four. That's at the start. You could see our two steps, assembly and final assembly. So if we go back, you could see that right here, assembly and final assembly. But again, in order to get there, in order to get through this production order, we need to create this base unit, maybe other things too. So if we go back to the engineering workbench, under our assembly, our very first item here is a base unit, which requires that cutting, the forming, and the inspection process. And once again, if I go back to that other bill of material regarding the MG base unit, you can see those steps there. And below, you can see that to do the assembly, we just need to get these parts out of stock. So that pretty much is easy. And then we have our final assembly here. Now, in addition, if we highlight a specific step, over on the right-hand side, assuming this is on hold, you can get in to make changes. So you can see this is my operation ID. This is the work center I'm using. You could see all the information you'd see over here, but in a form view, and you can make changes to it right from here. And again, you can get to your materials as well. These are the three materials that are there. This gives you a better visibility and a different way of working. But additionally, you have the ability to do many different operational changes. So for example, I can take this drip tray and say that I want that part of my cutting step. And if I do that, it'll move it over here. And now I can move this back to the form part. Now additionally, you have menus here along these line items. So depending upon where you click that menu, for example, assembly, I have the ability to add an additional step. So that would be a sibling, something associated or peer to this type of item. I can also add a child. So for example, something underneath this. So if we say, for example, add a sibling, notice it puts a new operation here. We can also remove with the delete option here. Notice I had to zoom out in order to get that because it seemed to fall off the screen. Zoom back in here. Additionally, you can add child. So for example, if I need another item here, new material, as part of this step, I can do that. When I highlight that item, notice again, the right panel allows me to select the required fields in order to get this entry completed. And then one last thing is all of these icons, they mean different things. So you could pause your video here if you'd like, but this is actually from the release notes. You can look at it there, but this shows all of the different descriptions of each of the icons, top level bill of material, an operation that's performed. Again, if we move this over a little bit, you can see this is an operation that's 
performed internally. You may see an outside operation. This is a material that is a subassembly, so you could see that clearly. Whereas over here, this is just a material that's a finished stock item, something you're pulling out of stock, maybe you purchased it. So you can see the differences there. And there's a number of different other icons here. Find these in the release notes or you take a screenshot from this. So that's it. That's Acumatica's new engineering workbench. It provides you with the ability to create a bill of material with a more visual representation so that your outcome is a lot easier and also it speeds up the process. Additionally, anytime you want to make changes, this is the place to go. You can come back here, make changes, maybe add additional steps, throw another item into an inspection phase, for example. And we're very happy that Acumatic added this functionality. You'll also note that this tree view is new in Acumatica. You don't see this anywhere else. This tree view is based on the new user interface we're hoping to see next year. So you'll see more of that in different areas of Acumatica. Well, right now you can see it here. So thanks so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please click the like button below YouTube. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.